Good morning and welcome to another JFR food review. Sorry, I had a hair in my face. It's a it's a lovely snowy morning here in the, where I am. I'm not telling you. You don't get to know. This is my my personal information. Um and, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a breakfast. I'm doing a breakfast review. Because I haven't done any breakfast reviews yet. And, let's be honest, that's just a tragedy. And so, I'm going to, I don't know, it's just me. I'm going to pretty much get right into it. Um, you, you may have noticed, this is not the same vehicle as last time I was in a vehicle. It's the same location, but different vehicle. Is, uh, well, my car is, uh, this, this has to do with, this has to do with everything, alright, yeah, trust me on this one, my car is a little broken, you see, I got a, got a, it's in at the shop right now, it's getting fixed, it needs, uh, needs a severe component replaced, and so I'm in a, I've, I've been down, down in the dumps, more so than usual. And so, I need, I need to cheer up. So I, I went for a breakfast sandwich. But not just a breakfast sandwich. I went to Wendy's. And I'm trying out their, their French toast sticks. They got French toast sticks now. Still hot. Hot off the oven. Um, they're not a side. They're a separate meal. Interesting. I would have put them as a side if I was Wendy. Um... But I'm, I'm wasting time here, so I'm, I'm just gonna get right into it. I got more. I'm gonna review that too. I've had that before though, but I mean, you guys might as well know what I like. I don't really like that. So we're gonna see. I got four French toast sticks. Comes with syrup. Fuck. Apologies. I spilled on myself. That was just a taste test. I gotta clean this up. Like I said, this isn't my car. So, and I didn't steal it. It's just the family member's vehicle. Okay, so don't be calling the police on me. But, um, I should probably keep it pretty clean in here. Actually, I'm going to go for some OJ. So much plastic. Like, you don't need this. It's useless plastic. Save the world, people. Alright, let's get into this, this, these sticks. Imagine driving a Dodge Ram. Sickos. I'm pretty sure no one's gonna get mad at that. I'd, I'd bet every penny that I make off this channel, which is nothing, that I don't have a viewer that um, drives a Dodge Ram pickup truck. And if you do, unsubscribe, dislike the video. We don't want you here. Okay. Give me one more minute. One more, one more dip.
Okay. This is a... It's, it's interesting. I can... I mean... They're the only place that, that makes French toast at a fast food restaurant that I know of, right? I mean, IHOP, Denny's, whatever. They probably, Humpty's. Fun fact about Humpty's, I've thrown up there like three times. Um, they probably make French toast, but you get these sticks. I got a four piece, which is a, essentially the size of one piece of toast, right? It was five bucks. That's not good. That's not, no. You can, I mean, and it, it just brings, it just brings forth more questions, really. Because it doesn't taste like it's made from toast, either. It's extremely eggy, right? So you can, like, like, the, the bread's completely soaked in the egg, right? Because, well, in case you don't know how to make French toast, you take some eggs, toss them in a bowl or a plate, <coughs> splash of milk, whisk it up with, like, a fork, and you flap, you flip your bread in there and toss it in a buttered pan, boom. Eat, like, one of the easiest breakfasts, right? And then to charge someone four bucks for one piece of toast, like if I made this at home this morning, I would have made like three. I would have made like three pieces of toast. That's why I also got a sandwich. This is going to be a long video. Uh, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> um, but yeah, this is just weird. It's just a weird piece. It's a weird thing. It doesn't... It's not like the French toast I'm used to. I don't really like it, and for its price, I mean... It's just, I don't think it's worth it. And not to mention, this is the inferior syrup that they gave me. They gave me, like, Aunt Jemima or something. Wait, sorry. What's it called now? Pearl Milling Company, I think? Um, I'm sorry. I eat maple syrup, because it's better. I'm from Canada. I'm gonna eat maple syrup. Because it's better. And this isn't that. And so it's worse. It would be better with maple syrup. And it's not like it's got fancy seasoning or anything on it either. It's not like it's got cinnamon. That's really good on French toast. That's weird. It just tastes like eggs, but in like a bread form. Which I guess that's what French toast is, but... I mean, come on. Like... If Wendy's can do better, then they can charge less. And for those reasons, I'm gonna give it... Three... Uh... Three... Quarters of a bread, of a piece of toast, out of ten French toasts that I could have made at home. I guess I don't know. I mean, I'm still gonna finish it, and it's not like it's definitely inevitable. It's it's bread and it's syrup. Like, you can't really go super wrong with that. Maybe three is a... Nah. Three might be a harsh score. But I'm sticking with it. Like, some of my other lower ones, like their taco salad. That was just weird. That got a five. But that's because my expectations were so low for a fast food salad. at 10 minutes. I gotta get to the next one. You know, you're, all, you're all gonna be leaving by now. Okay, so holy. I'm leaning tower of potatoes. Mm. Okay. Now though. You thought that I, I started with the dessert. Because now it's time for the real treat. 
Hold on. I got a breakfast baconator, right? I think it's supposed to be a breakfast baconator. Yes, it is. Okay. Thank God. It looked like I got a real Baconator. But, this, it smells heavenly. Like, oh, like the sweetness of the bacon. Okay, this is, I've had this before. I've had it a couple times. I'm just gonna... stop myself. Okay. Where to where to begin? Okay. The egg is perfect. One of the it is not fake. It's a real egg. That's all you can really ask for from a fast food restaurant doing breakfast, right? They're not going to make it runny because of, you know, people will complain. That's how eggs are best, runny. But, I mean, they're good with a hard yolk too. Like, it's just an egg. You can do what you want with it. <clears throat> Whoa. The bacon, sweet and smoky. Excellent, excellent, excellent bacon. The, the sausage, it's got a real peppery kick to it. Oh, ties it all together. There's two layers of you get the sausage, two layers of bacon, the egg in between, cheese, excellent cheese. It's just like a craft sandwich. But that, it's so well, it works so well in this. You don't get cheese in other breakfast sandwiches much. I don't think, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um. Hollandaise, it's not just mayo, they're like another sauce, it's like a hollandaise sauce. They, they went so above and beyond with that sandwich, I mean, it's, it sits atop a majestic throne in the world of breakfast sandwiches. It is so good, honestly. If you haven't tried it, you gotta try it. And, I, I mean, I haven't even snacking on these. I haven't even talked to you about them. These are mate. Well, okay. In the past times that I've had this, the the the, the their potato wedges, really really good. This time, I think I let them sit for too long because I was busy messing around with those fucking French toast. No, no, don't use those. Don't eat those. I'm nasty. I mean, compared to this, like, what are you doing? Literally, what are you doing? Because they're not today, honestly. They're a little cold. They're not really crispy. And they're, you know, like... When you have a baked potato, and it's got, like, that texture. It's just potatoey te texture. That you don't really get in, like... Well, I mean, you don't really get in other potato variations. Like, you don't get that usually in wedges. If a, a good wedge, you won't get that. 
fries you probably won't get that but if they're, they're a thicker fry you'll get that texture like just that inner potato you know and it's different than like mashed potatoes well is it though yeah it's kind of like mashed potato like an inner mashed potato -y texture you know what I mean it's got a lot of that going on and uh yeah these wedges today compared to what they usually are these are like six six out of ten six out of ten WestJet Boeing whatever the heck probably 737 touching down right now be out in a snowy airstrip you know the usual Six out of ten of them. I mean, um, and uh, oh yeah, Sam. How, I didn't forget about you. Come back here. Just, just look at this. Just look at that. So freaking good. Oh. I mean, I don't know what to say. It is the best. It's, this is the best. This is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Just look at how, look at how cheesy that is. It's so cheesy. It's so good. And the spice, it, it hits you late. The spice from the sausage. It's so good. Honestly. Best thing I've ever reviewed on the channel right there. I've had it before. I know it's probably cheating. I've kept you guys here for too long. I'm not sorry about it. Whatever. Have a have a good time.